Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to reset your Samsung Galaxy S25 back to factory settings. This will erase all the data off of the phone and it will set up like a brand new phone. The first thing you'll need to do, swipe down from the top of the screen and tap on the settings wheel in the upper right corner. Now just remember when you swipe down, if you see this, you just swipe to your left and that'll take you to this screen here. Tap on that settings wheel, go to accounts and backup. From here, go to manage accounts and you need to remove all the Google accounts off of the phone, okay? That those are the primary accounts you need to focus on. All the accounts that have the G, you need to remove them. So just tap on it, hit remove, remove account. Now you'll have a bunch of other accounts there as well. You can remove each one individually or uh, once you factory reset, it usually will remove them automatically. But the main one is the Google account. If you don't remove that one, it's going to prevent you from signing back into the phone. So you gotta make sure all those are removed first. Next, you're gonna go down to reset, tap on reset, swipe up and go to factory data reset. Before you do this, make sure you've backed up all your data because once the reset is done, you won't have any more access to anything on this phone. So pictures, contacts, everything, make sure you've backed it up first, okay? Tap on factory data reset, swipe up, go to reset, tap delete all. The very last step is it's gonna ask you to remove your Samsung account as well. So you'll need to also be able to sign into this and remove it, and you will need to be connected to Wi-Fi to do this. All right, I just put in that Samsung password. So now my Samsung account is removed, and now it has triggered the full factory reset. At this point, you don't wanna to touch the phone, let the phone sit, and it's gonna take anywhere from two to five minutes to erase all of your data, and then set it up like a brand new phone. One important note is that your phone does need to be uh, charge to at least 30% or higher, or it won't allow you to do the reset. So just keep that in mind as well. And there we go. Our factory reset is officially complete. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. I'm gonna link here to a playlist of my other Samsung S25 videos, so check out those. And I'll link to another really helpful video right here as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.